Good evening, this is just a quick update showing the use of the Crazy Fly Nano. So this is the software running here. Now I'm going to turn this on. So you'll see the uh, propellers turn around to indicate that the power on self-test is working. So I'm going to connect to it now. So this is using a Python script in the background. So you have to wait typically for the red light to blink a bit slower, so I'll give that a second. The green indicates that it's receiving a packet. Now it receives packets at a rate of 100 a second, which is pretty quick. It's controlled by this USB controller, PS3. So as I'm moving things around, here we go. So these numbers here indicate that I'm changing controls. You can handicap it and put it in a training mode by lowering these numbers. So now that I've done that, I'll uh, move this across. As you can see here, when it's connected, the horizon indicator changes. So I'll put this in the centre of the room here and give it a go. So it takes a bit to get used to, so I'll probably crash the first few times. Put that back in the sink. There we go. So it takes a little bit to get used to, but it flies pretty smooth. You can get a nice hover to it. I recommend people don't use the yaw, which basically rotates it around. I'll show that later, because what that'll mean is that uh, basically your directions for movement change. So I'll move this a bit closer. So I've actually got this handicap, so maximum thrust is 70. And I can't your, uh, pitch it very fast, so the maximum movement speed is slow down. This stops me from accidentally uh, flipping it around or uh, running straight into the roof from uh, going maximum throttle. So I think that's about it. I'll uh, touch down.